Where have the gorgeous black actresses of the 1980s gone? If you saw the 1980s era, you know how the sizzling black beauties dominated the film industry. However, it was not as easy as today for black actresses to reach fame back then. Despite this, those black actresses paved their way and became the center of attention. Hash their roles inspired future characters, and their beauty inspired even white actresses to copy their style. But who were those black actresses you saw in various movies and dramas but never got to know about? What do they look like, and where are they today? Would you be able to recognize them, given that over four decades have passed? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about Black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of Black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you about the 20 most beautiful Black actresses of the 1980s and how they look today. Let's get started. Number 20. Margaret Avery. Margaret was born on January 20, 1944, in Mangum, Oklahoma. She is a renowned American actress and singer praised for her unforgettable portrayal of Shug Avery in the highly praised film The Color Purple, 1985. Due to her irresistible looks, she became the center of attention of the audience. Her captivating performance in the movie earned her a nomination for Best Supporting Actress at the Academy Awards establishing her as a formidable talent in Hollywood. Avery's journey in entertainment began in the 1960s when she ventured into singing, releasing several singles, although mainstream success eluded her at the time. Transitioning to acting in the 1970s, she made her promising television debut on The Flip Wilson Show in 1971, marking the start of her illustrious acting career. Avery subsequently appeared in various television shows, including memorable roles in The White Shadow, Hill Street Blues, and Miami Vice. However, it was her captivating portrayal of Shug Avery in The Color Purple that propelled her to widespread acclaim and recognition. Directed by the legendary Steven Spielberg and based on Alice Walker's novel, The Color Purple tells the story of African-American women grappling with racism and abuse in the early 20th century. Avery's portrayal of Shug Avery, a mesmerizing singer, received praise for its profound depth and vulnerability, resonating deeply with audiences and critics alike. Following the success of The Color Purple, Avery continued to make her mark in both film and television, showcasing her versatility in projects like White Man's Burden, 1995, and Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins, 2008, as well as notable television appearances in shows such as The Division, and being Mary Jane. Today, even though she is 80 years old, she still radiates the same charm and energy. Number 19, Tisha Campbell. Martin, Tisha has been a flawless and sensational beauty from a very young age. Born on October 13, 1968, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, she is a distinguished American actress, singer, and dancer, known for her diverse talents and magnetic on-screen presence. Campbell Martin's journey into the entertainment industry began in the late 1970s, when she honed her skills as a child performer, appearing in various television commercials and stage productions. However, it was her breakout role as Gina Waters Payne in the beloved sitcom Martin, 1992-1997, that catapulted her to stardom. Portraying the spirited and quick-witted Gina alongside Martin Lawrence's character, Campbell Martin garnered widespread acclaim and adoration solidifying her status as a household name. The monumental success of Martin cemented Campbell Martin's position as one of the most sought-after talents in the industry. Alongside her iconic role, she showcased her versatility in various film and television projects, including memorable appearances in movies like House Party, 1990, Boomerang, 1992, and Sprung, 1997. Campbell Martin's remarkable talent and versatility have earned her numerous accolades throughout her illustrious career, including nominations for esteemed awards such as the NAACP Image Award and the BET Comedy Award. Beyond her professional achievements, Campbell Martin has emerged as a staunch advocate for mental health awareness, courageously sharing her journey with bipolar disorder to destigmatize mental health issues. Today, even though she has aged, one cannot tell that she is 55. Number 18. Debbie Allen, Debbie Allen, 
born on January 16, 1950, in Houston, Texas, is a trailblazing American actress, dancer, choreographer, television director, and producer, renowned for her unparalleled contributions to the performing arts landscape. Interestingly, Allen's illustrious career began as a dancer, where she honed her skills in classical ballet and modern dance. After graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Classical Greek Literature, Speech, and Theater, Allen's passion for the arts led her to further her studies in dance at prestigious institutions such as the Houston Ballet School and the School of American Ballet. In the late 1970s, Allen captivated audiences nationwide with her captivating portrayal of Lydia Grant, a formidable dance teacher in the iconic television series Fame, 1982-1987. Beyond her acting prowess, Allen's exceptional talent as a dancer garnered her widespread acclaim, earning her two Emmy Awards for her groundbreaking work on the show. Allen's multifaceted talents extend beyond acting, as she has carved a niche for herself as a revered choreographer and director, helming numerous stage productions, including the Broadway musical Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and the all-African-American production of Sweet Charity. Additionally, Allen has made a lasting impact in television, directing episodes of acclaimed shows like Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and How to Get Away with Murder, further solidifying her status as an influential force in the entertainment industry. Number 17. Layla Roshan, Leka Roshan, born on April 17, 1964 in Los Angeles, California, is a well-known American actress who rose to prominence in the dynamic era of 1990s cinema with her compelling performances in several important films. Roshan began her acting career in the late 1980s, leaving her mark on television shows like Rags to Riches and 227. However, it was her portrayal of Robin Stokes in the romantic drama Waiting to Exhale, 1995, that thrust her into the limelight. Adapted from Terry McMillan's acclaimed novel, the film showed the lives of four African-American women navigating love and relationships. Roshan's portrayal of the elegant and successful Robin garnered widespread critical acclaim, firmly establishing her as a talent to watch in Hollywood. Following the success of Waiting to Exhale, Layla Roshan graced the silver screen in a variety of films throughout the 1990s, including The Chamber, 1996, Gang Related, 1997, and Knock Off, 1998. She demonstrated her versatility with notable roles in comedies like The First Wives Club, 1996, and dramas like Any Given Sunday, 1999. Although she took a brief break from acting in the early 2000s to focus on her personal life and family, Roshan returned in 2019 with roles in the film Supremacy and a recurring part in the television series Ray Donovan. Over her career, she has been celebrated for both her acting prowess and her striking beauty earning accolades such as nominations for the NAACP Image Award for her standout performance in Waiting to Exhale. Number 16, Kimberly Elise. Kimberly Elise, born on April 17, 1967 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, is a highly esteemed American actress recognized for her sensational portrayals of emotionally charged characters. Elise burst onto the cinematic scene in the 1990s with her captivating performance in the critically acclaimed drama Set It Off, 1996 where her portrayal of Tysian T.T. Williams garnered widespread praise. The film showcased Elise's remarkable ability to convey vulnerability, resilience, and strength, solidifying her position as a formidable talent in Hollywood. She continued to captivate audiences with her versatility in films like Beloved, 1998, based on the novel by Toni Morrison, and John Q, 2002, opposite Denzel Washington earning critical acclaim and industry recognition for her exceptional performances. Number 15, Ray Dawn Chong. Ray Dawn Chong, a highly accomplished actress known for her outstanding performances in both film and television, was born on February 28, 1961, in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. With actor Tommy Chong as her father, it's clear she inherited a deep love for the art. One of her standout roles occurred in the 1985 action-adventure hit, Commando where she starred alongside the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger, earning widespread praise for her portrayal. Throughout her impressive career, Chong has showcased her incredible versatility on both the big and small screens. Her extensive list of credits includes memorable appearances in acclaimed projects like Steven Spielberg's The Color Purple, 1985, Soul Man, 1986, 
and the critically acclaimed Quest for Fire, 1981. Beyond film, Chong has left her mark on television, delivering standout performances across various series. From The Outer Limits to 24 Inches and That's My Mama, she has consistently proven her ability to tackle a diverse range of roles, effortlessly transitioning between drama and comedy. Even today, Ray Don Chong remains an active force in the entertainment industry. She still occasionally graces both film and television screens, undoubtedly exploring other creative ventures that fuel her artistic passion. In addition to her entertainment contributions, Chong has used her platform to champion important social and political causes. Her advocacy for issues like environmental conservation and women's rights resonates strongly, reflecting her dedication to making a positive impact beyond her on-screen work. Number 14. Marla Gibbs Marla Gibbs, a versatile American entertainer, was born on June 14, 1931, in Chicago, Illinois. Her career spans many years, during which she became famous for her roles in TV sitcoms. Initially, Gibbs started as a singer in the 1970s, captivating audiences in clubs and theaters. However, it was her move to acting that really made her a star, especially for playing Florence Johnston, the lively maid in the beloved sitcom, The Jeffersons, 1975 to 1985. Alongside Sherman Hemley and Isabel Sanford, Gibbs's portrayal of Florence earned her acclaim, making her a household name and earning Emmy nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. After her success on The Jeffersons, Marla Gibbs starred in her own sitcom, 227 Inches, 1985 to 1990, playing Mary Jenkins. Set in a Washington, D.C. apartment building, the show showcased Gibbs's comedic timing and acting skills, earning her another Emmy nomination. Besides TV, Gibbs appeared in movies like The Meteor Man, 1993, and The Visit, 2000, and guest starred on shows like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Touched by an Angel, and Grey's Anatomy. Her performances won her many accolades, including NAACP Image Awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2012. Beyond acting, Marla Gibbs is dedicated to philanthropy and community service. She founded the Crossroads Art Academy in South Central Los Angeles, offering art education and opportunities for youth, showing her commitment to nurturing talent and giving back. Number 13, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson, born on May 16, 1966 in Gary, Indiana, is a multi-talented American singer, songwriter, actress, and dancer from the renowned Jackson family, which includes her siblings Michael Jackson and Jermaine Jackson, among others. Jackson's journey in entertainment began as a child actress before rising to fame in music. Jackson's breakthrough came in the 1980s with her third studio album, Control, 1986, which showcased her talents as a vocalist and songwriter. Hits like What Have You Done For Me Lately, Nasty, and When I Think Of You propelled her to superstardom, highlighting her independence and creative control. Subsequent albums, including Rhythm Nation 1814 Inches, 1989, solidified her status as a pop icon, featuring singles like Miss You Much and Escapade, alongside socially conscious tracks. Throughout her career, Janet Jackson has sold millions of records worldwide and has been honored with numerous awards, including multiple Grammys and the MTV Video Music Awards Global Icon Award. Beyond music, Jackson's influence extends to dance, fashion, and visual storytelling, evident in her groundbreaking music videos, establishing her as an influential cultural icon. Number 12, Alfred Woodard. Alfred Woodard, a distinguished American actress, producer, and political activist, was born on November 8, 1952, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Throughout her illustrious career spanning film, television, and theater, Woodard has captivated audiences with her powerful performances and relentless dedication to her acting skills. Starting her journey in the theater world, she seamlessly transitioned into film and television in the early 1980s. Her breakthrough came with the acclaimed 1983 film Cross Creek, earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. This marked the beginning of a flourishing film career, where Woodard showcased her versatility in diverse roles in both independent and mainstream cinema. Notable credits include her compelling performances in films such as Passion Fish, 1992, Crooklyn, 1994, and 12 Years a Slave, 2013, collaborating with esteemed directors like Spike Lee, John Sayles, and Steve McQueen. 
Apart from her cinematic achievements, Woodard has made a significant impact on television, appearing in shows like St. Elsewhere, Hill Street Blues, and Desperate Housewives. Her television prowess has earned her numerous primetime Emmy Awards and nominations, solidifying her status as a small screen icon. Additionally, Woodard's theatrical contributions are equally impressive, with standout performances in stage productions like August Wilson's Fences and The Piano Lesson, garnering critical acclaim and prestigious theater accolades, including a coveted Drama Desk Award. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Number 11. Lisa Bonet Lisa Bonet, an acclaimed American actress and activist, was born on November 16, 1967 in San Francisco, California. Rising to prominence with her portrayal of the free-spirited and artistic Denise Huxtable on the iconic sitcom The Cosby Show, 1984-1991, Bonet captured the hearts of audiences and established herself as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Following her success on the small screen, she continued to captivate audiences with her versatility in the spin-off series A Different World, 1987 to 1993, showcasing her acting range and leaving a lasting impact on viewers. Bonet's talent transcended television, as evidenced by her compelling performances in films such as Angel Heart, 1987, and High Fidelity, 2000, where she demonstrated her ability to embody diverse characters with depth and authenticity. Beyond her acting endeavors, Bonet is also known for her activism and unique sense of style, making her a cultural icon and influencer in the entertainment industry. Number 10. Robin Givens Robin Givens, a renowned American actress and television personality, was born on November 27, 1964, in New York City, New York. Rising to prominence during the 1980s, Givens garnered acclaim for her roles in both television and film, captivating audiences with her undeniable talent and screen presence. Initially making waves with appearances on popular shows like The Cosby Show and Different Strokes, her breakthrough came with her portrayal of the high-achieving student Darlene Merriman on the beloved sitcom Head of the Class, 1986 to 1991, earning widespread recognition and acclaim. Transitioning seamlessly into the world of film, Givens showcased her versatility with standout performances in movies such as Boomerang, 1992, and continued to leave a lasting impression with her roles in TV movies and miniseries. Beyond her acting pursuits, Givens has remained actively engaged in various television projects, including hosting duties on talk shows and appearances in reality TV competitions. She has also championed humanitarian causes and charitable endeavors, earning her respect and admiration in both the entertainment industry and the wider community. Number 9. Felicia Rashad Felicia Rashad, a highly respected actress with a career spanning decades, has made a significant impact across stage, television, and film. Born on June 19, 1948, in Houston, Texas, Rashad began her artistic journey in theater before transitioning to television, where she achieved notable success. Her portrayal of Claire Huxtable, the formidable matriarch of the Huxtable family, in the groundbreaking sitcom The Cosby Show, which aired from 1984 to 1992, propelled Rashad to widespread acclaim. Earning numerous awards and nominations, her performance firmly established her as one of America's most beloved television mothers. Beyond her iconic role on The Cosby Show, Rashad has excelled in theater, both as an actress and director. Notably, she made history as the first African-American actress to win the Tony Award for Best Actress in a play for her role in the revival of A Raisin in the Sun in 2004. Rashad's stage credits include acclaimed productions such as Gem of the Ocean, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and August, Osage County. In addition to her contributions to television and theater, Rashad has demonstrated her versatility in film, appearing in notable works like Creed, 2015, and its sequel, Creed II, 2018, where she portrayed Marianne Creed, the protagonist's mother. Today, Felicia Rashad remains actively engaged in the entertainment industry, participating in various projects ranging from television guest spots to theater productions. Her dedication extends beyond performance as she participates in philanthropic and artistic endeavors. Number 8. Regina King 
Regina King, born on January 15, 1971, in Los Angeles, California, is a highly regarded American actress, director, and producer. King has solidified herself as one of the most versatile performers in the entertainment industry, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards for her exceptional work. Her career took off as a teenager with her television debut in the sitcom 227 Inches, 1985 to 1990, followed by broader recognition for her role as Brenda Jenkins in the popular series A Different World, 1988 to 1993. King's breakthrough came with her standout performance in the critically acclaimed film Boys in the Hood, 1991, where she portrayed a single mother in South Central Los Angeles. Throughout her career, King has showcased her versatility through diverse roles in a wide range of projects, including films such as Jerry Maguire, 1996, Ray, 2004, and the Academy Award-winning If Beale Street Could Talk, 2018. In addition to her contributions to film, King has made significant strides in television, starring in and producing several acclaimed series, including Southland, American Crime, and Watchmen. Her performance in American Crime earned her multiple Primetime Emmy Awards, while her venture into directing has garnered praise and recognition, including a Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Directing for a Limited Series for Watchmen. Throughout her illustrious career, Regina King has been celebrated for her exceptional talent and dedication to storytelling, earning numerous accolades including Primetime Emmy Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and NAACP Image Awards. She is revered for her powerful performances, commanding presence on screen, and commitment to exploring important social issues through her work. Number seven, Sherry Headley. Sherry Headley, born on July 15, 1964 in Queens, New York City, is a renowned American actress who gained fame for her role as Lisa McDowell in the iconic comedy film Coming to America, 1988 starring opposite Eddie Murphy. Her acting career took off in the 1980s with notable appearances in television shows like All My Children and The Cosby Show. However, it was her exceptional portrayal of Lisa McDowell that propelled her to widespread acclaim, showcasing her comedic talent and contributing to the film's enduring status as a classic. Despite the success of Coming to America, Headley's subsequent projects in both film and television, such as roles in The Preacher's Wife, 1996, and Johnson Family Vacation, 2004, and appearances in series like Guiding Light and Gideon's Crossing didn't achieve the same level of mainstream recognition. Number six, Nia Long. Nia Long was born on October 30, 1970 in Brooklyn, New York. Long has established herself as a versatile performer with innate charisma. She embarked on her acting journey at a young age, making her debut in the television movie, The Brat Patrol, 1986. Early recognition came for her portrayal of Catherine Cat Speaks in the soap opera Guiding Light, 1991 to 1993. Long's breakthrough occurred with her compelling performance in the critically acclaimed film Boys in the Hood, 1991, where she portrayed Brandy, the girlfriend of Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character. This role propelled her into the spotlight, leading to appearances in diverse films such as Love Jones, 1997, the Best Man, 1999, and its sequel, The Best Man Holiday, 2013. Long collaborated with esteemed directors like John Singleton, Malcolm D. Lee, and Tyler Perry. In addition to her film work, Long has made significant contributions to television, starring in popular series such as The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Third Watch, and Empire. She has also showcased her talent in television movies and miniseries, receiving critical acclaim for her performances. Long's exceptional talent and captivating presence have solidified her status as a sought-after actress in the entertainment industry, earning numerous award nominations and accolades, including an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture for her role in Love Jones. Number five, Pam Greer. Pam Greer, born on May 26, 1949 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is an American actress celebrated for her pioneering roles in the black exploitation films of the 1970s. These roles not only established her as an icon of the era, but also broke barriers for African American actresses in Hollywood. Greer's acting journey began in the late 1960s with minor roles in television shows and films. However, her breakthrough came in 1971 with The Big Doll House, a women in prison exploitation film. This marked the start of a successful series of black exploitation films like Coffee, 1973, and Foxy Brown, 1974, 
where Greer portrayed strong, independent, and empowered female characters. Throughout the 1970s, Greer became one of the most recognizable faces in the black exploitation genre, captivating audiences with her fierce and charismatic performances. Her characters were known for their physical prowess, intelligence, and ability to navigate dangerous situations. Despite the decline of the black exploitation era, Greer continued to shine in the film and television industry, embracing diverse roles. She appeared in movies like Escape from L.A., 1996, and Jackie Brown, 1997, directed by Quentin Tarantino, earning critical acclaim and a Golden Globe nomination for her role in the latter. Her performance in Jackie Brown marked a resurgence in her career, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Number 4. Jasmine Guy Jasmine Guy, born on March 10, 1962, in Boston, Massachusetts, is an American actress, singer, and dancer best known for portraying Whitley Gilbert in the beloved sitcom A Different World, 1987-1993. Guy's entertainment career began as a professional dancer, studying at the Alvin Ailey American Dance Center in New York City. Transitioning into acting, she made her television debut in the series Fame, 1982-1987, portraying Kathleen Casey Davenport. Her performance in Fame received critical acclaim, setting the stage for her future success. Guy's breakthrough role came with her portrayal of Whitley Gilbert in A Different World, a spin-off of The Cosby Show. Whitley, depicted as a privileged and occasionally snobbish student at the fictional Hillman College, earned Guy praise for her comedic timing and character development. Throughout her career, Jasmine Guy has been celebrated for her contributions to the entertainment industry. She has earned several award nominations, including an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a comedy series for her role in A Different World. Additionally, Guy has showcased her talent in theater, both as an actress and director, with notable performances in productions such as Chicago and The Wiz. Number three, Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett, a distinguished American actress and activist, was born on August 16, 1958, in the vibrant city of New York. Known for her exceptional talent and profound performances, Bassett embarked on her acting journey in the 1980s, captivating audiences with her remarkable skills in various stage productions and television shows, earning widespread acclaim for her outstanding craft. Bassett's career reached new heights with her portrayal of Tina Turner in the biographical masterpiece, What's Love Got to Do With It, 1993. This outstanding performance garnered her an esteemed Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, establishing her as a formidable presence in the film industry. Throughout her illustrious career, Angela Bassett has embraced a diverse array of roles across film, television, and theater, leaving an indelible mark with appearances in notable films such as Malcolm X, 1992, Waiting to Exhale, 1995, American Horror Story Coven, 2013, and Black Panther, 2018, each earning critical acclaim and numerous award nominations, including multiple Emmy nods. Bassett is famous for her ability to infuse her characters with depth and authenticity. Notable portrayals include historical figures like Rosa Parks in The Rosa Parks Story, 2002, and Coretta Scott King in Betty and Coretta, 2013. Furthermore, she has tackled complicated fictional characters such as Queen Ramonda in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's blockbuster hit Black Panther, 2018, and its subsequent sequels. Number two, Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams, a multifaceted American singer, actress, and fashion designer, was born on March 18, 1963, in the town of Terrytown, New York. Williams's journey to stardom began in 1983, when she was crowned Miss America marking her the first African-American woman to achieve this prestigious title. Beyond her music career, Vanessa Williams has made significant contributions to both film and television. She has showcased her talent in movies like Soul Food, 1997, Eraser, 1996, and Shaft, 2000, captivating audiences with her versatile performances. Additionally, Williams has graced television screens with notable roles in series such as Ugly Betty, earning critical acclaim and multiple award nominations. Even in the fashion industry, she has established her presence by launching her own clothing line and collaborating with renowned designers, solidifying her status as a respected figure in the industry. Number one, Halle Berry. Halle Berry, an American actress and former fashion model, was born on August 14, 1966, 
in Cleveland, Ohio. Known for her versatility, Barry has earned numerous awards throughout her remarkable career, including an Academy Award for Best Actress. She began her journey in the late 1980s as a model, gracing the pages of various magazines and appearing in television commercials. However, her breakthrough in acting came with her role in the television series Living Dolls, 1989, which paved the way for her transition to the big screen with Spike Lee's acclaimed film Jungle Fever, 1991. Barry's natural talent and captivating presence quickly captured the attention of audiences and industry insiders alike. Renowned for her ability to portray a diverse range of characters, she effortlessly transitions between dramatic, emotionally charged roles and action-packed, thrilling performances. Her impressive portfolio includes critically acclaimed films such as Introducing Dorothy Dandridge, 1999, where her portrayal earned her a Primetime Emmy Award, and Frankie and Alice, 2010, which garnered her a Golden Globe nomination, showcasing her remarkable range and depth as an actress. Beyond her stellar acting career, Halle Berry is actively involved in activism and philanthropy. A staunch advocate for domestic violence awareness, she lends her support to organizations like the Genesee Center, providing vital assistance and services to survivors. Barry's multifaceted contributions have solidified her status as an influential figure in the entertainment industry, inspiring countless aspiring actors and advocating for diversity and representation within Hollywood. Did you watch any of these black actresses performing back in the 1980s? Or did you perhaps see your parents finding their movies and relive the memories? In the comment section below, share your thoughts on these legendary black actresses. Do you wanna watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.